Today we're going to set up an Apollo X16D with a Yamaha DM7 console. If you have a small Danta network with the Apollo X16D, the computer and the console, all you're going to need is two Ethernet cables. One that goes from the primary of the Apollo X16D into the back of the Yamaha DM7 and then from the DM7 another cable into your computer. In order to connect it to your computer, you're going to need an Ethernet port. If you have a Mac with an M1 chip, you're going to need a USB-C to Ethernet connection adapter. If you have a bigger Danta network with multiple devices, like another computer for playback, or if you have another stage rack, you're going to need a network switch. In this case, we're going to use this Netgear network switch that has PoE, and I'm able to connect other devices as well. So let's make our connections. First, we're going to need a Thunderbolt 3 cable, not a USB-C. Next, we're going to connect our Ethernet cable that is going to go into the primary port of the Apollo X16D. So next, we're going to connect our Ethernet cable into a network switch. Okay, so once these connections are made, we're going to need two more things. One network cable that goes into the network adapter, USB-C to the computer, and another network cable to the primary port on the back of the console. The UED console has a great feature to recall scenes from any external console that can send MIDI. In this case, the Yamaha DM7 can send MIDI through a USB-C connection. So if we want to do that, all we have to do is connect the USB-C from the back of the console into your computer as well. So once we have made all of our connections, this is the moment to open up Dante Controller and make our subscriptions. Remember that the Apollo X16D has 16 channels. So that means 16 mono or 8 stereo, or you can make a combination of both. In our Danta controller software, we're going to open up our transmitter section and we're going to choose our Yamaha DM7, which means our Yamaha DM7 console is going to send into our Apollo X16D. So in the receiver section, I'm going to use X16D so I can make my subscriptions. So in this case, I have Dante channels available from 25 and up. That means I'm going to send from 25 Dante on my Yamaha DM7 into my first Apollo X16D channel. Once I've made that single subscription, I also have to reverse it. That means the sound is going from the Yamaha DM7 into my Apollo X16D. And I need to do the inverse. So from my transmitter Apollo X16D, I'm going to send into Yamaha DM7 channel 25. Once you see the green check mark, that means our subscription is connected. So I'm going to select my first channel where I want to make that insert and I'm going to go to this section here. In here, I'm going to select what kind of insert it is, which is an outboard insert. If it's not already selected, please make sure that it's outboard and color blue. I can exit here and then under the output, which means we're going to repeat what we just did in Dante controller. I'm going to hit Dante and I'm going to choose 25, which means that is going to go into my Apollo 16D through the Dante controller. And then my return channel, which is my input, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go Dante, 25, and exit. I'm going to hit on, because if not, our insert will not work. On the UAD console, each track is assigned to the monitor output by default. Click on the tile to change the assignment and choose your desired Dante output. In this case, I'm choosing a one-to-one -one patching, meaning Dante 1 in routes to Dante 1 out. For stereo tracks, Click on the name at the bottom of the UAD console and select Link. This will give you the option to choose a pair of Dante outputs. So as you can see, once my route has been done from my Yamaha DM7 into my Apollo X16D, my sound is going to start showing up on the Apollo X16D. And from here, you decide what kind of plugin you want to use. So I'm just going to go into my insert section and hit inserts here. And I'm going to type D-I-S-T and here we go we have the Distressor plugin already applied to my channel. That means on this console, I'm sending the signal into my Distressor and then back into the console. It's the same thing as if I had an outboard Distressor compressor. So once I have adjusted all the settings of my compressor, I can save this as a scene. Okay, so in the UAD console, open up the scene menu. And as you can see here, there is not gonna be any scene because this is a new one. I'm going to hit save and I'm gonna rename it. And this, for example, could be your first song. So I'm going to put song one, hit enter. So now if I have different settings for song two, I can completely change this and go to my second scene and save that as well. 
and here I'm going to rename it. I'm gonna put song number two. So now in my Yamaha DM7 console, because I have the USB-C connection connected, it's gonna be sending MIDI into my computer. So once you have your scene set up, all you have to do is go into the UAD console and select under the MIDI devices, your Yamaha DM7, usually set to port one. So on the Yamaha DM7, we're gonna hit our menu and go under setup and hit MIDI GPI and then go into program change settings. Here is where you're gonna change your program events. So hit the no assign on channel one and then go to scene. And now which scene are you gonna choose? The one that we saved, Apollo demo. If I have another scene in here in my console, I can change it as well. So for example, if I go to Apollo demo and I go into store and I'm gonna do Apollo demo number two and hit okay. Now that's stored on scene number three. I'm gonna go back to my menu and then under program change event number two, I'm going to open that up and then scene Apollo demo number two. One super important step is to enable the transmission of the MIDI data. So under MIDI settings, go to program change and then touch where it says TX. That means transmission on. So now when I go into my scenes and I go to a different scene, for example, and if I hit recall, it's gonna send that MIDI data into my UAD console and change my scene as well. And as you can see, my console has changed my scene from song one to song two automatically by the USB-C connection. Okay, so let's finish setting up the rest of the channels and review what we did. Okay, so that's all you need to do in order to use UAD plugins live with the Yamaha DM series console and an Apollo X16D. Special thanks to Amacoustic Productions for letting us use this DM7 console to set up with the Apollo X16D.